So if a musket could tell a story, I would love to hear the one that this one would tell because this is a really, really interesting gun. It's a very early gun and it is amazing that this was actually picked up off of the field of Gettysburg in 1863. This is an early contract musket. It's an early American contract musket. I looked the name up. The name is kind of obscured on the lock plate, but it's probably either 1797 or 1808 contract musket. So it's an early American military musket. It was a contract musket contracted to the United States government. It was made in Philadelphia. It's got a very early type lock. You see this? kind of has this little what we call a rat tail on the back of, of the lock. That's a very early feature. It's a feature of, say, 1795 to 1808 pattern guns. And this one has obviously been converted to percussion by a drum system, okay? This is called a drum conversion. And this one was converted sometime probably in the 1850s, prior to the Civil War, or maybe even in right just as the Civil War was ramping out. And if I was a betting man, I would say that this one was probably most likely used by the Southern forces. Just due to the nature of the conversion, due to a lot of different factors that I can go into in a couple minutes. First of all, very early gun. I actually haven't tried the action on this, so I'm gonna try it now. Almost a little scared, but no. Just totally toast. Okay, so the action does not work. So, um, but you can see the use on this gun is just enormous. All of the wood in this area on the shoulders and up in here by the percussion system is gone. It's been totally burned away because it has been fired over and over and over again. So what has happened here is due to the capacity and the, the rapid firing over and over again, it has literally burned the wood out of that gun. So you can imagine the ferocity of what happened through this, through this musket's life. This looks like a blacksmith made hammer, okay, which is indicative of something that probably would be used in the South. Look at this giant screw here, actually kind of loose there. Um, big headed screw, keeping that on. Obviously, like we said, the action does not work. It, the spring is gone. It's totally, totally toast. Look at the stock on that gun. That stock is missing from here all the way to the top of the barrel. You could see that this actually has the bayonet lug on the underside of the barrel, but the stock is totally missing. And I, what I would attribute that to, and I can't be sure, but that looks like something struck this gun and just splintered the rest of that stock off. So this is what we consider in the trade as a, as a relic, kind of a, like a battle damaged musket. And these are actually highly sought after and highly collectible. This one has such a story. The other thing that's really, really amazing about this gun is that if you do some research, you can find out who carried it. And you can do that because on the back of this gun, stamped in two places, is the name Hazlitt. And I don't know who Hazlitt was, but you can see those stamps right there. So this is an identified gun. And I ran that name through the National Park Serv uh, Service soldiers and sailors database, and there was a number of hazlets that showed up on the Confederate side and on the Union side. And so more research is definitely warranted with this musket. This is an example of a, a early contract musket that was cobbled together, likely for the Civil War, used to be flintlock, now it's percussion, has a drum, drum conversion, has a lot of use, has likely battle damage where something struck this and, and just splintered the top of the stock off. But this just tells a story of the ferocity of the fight at Gettysburg.
and it's just an incredible relic of American history, and it's identified also, which is unbelievable. Um, as I look at it here also, there is a couple, there is a couple uh, initials carved into the stock. I don't know what that is right there. That might lead you to more research that you could maybe figure out who carried this gun. But overall, a really, really interesting musket. Obviously, you don't want to go out and you don't want to fire this. You can't fire it because it doesn't work. So don't fix it and fire it, okay? Uh, this is just sold strictly for its historical significance only. Uh, we don't encourage you to try to fix this and fire it. Leave it alone, appreciate it. This was picked up by J.T. Hayes in Gettysburg Battlefield in 1863, and it's been passed down through the family ever since, and it's only available right now at Rare Collectibles TV. This is item M1380, a battle-damaged NIPS percussion conversion musket for only $1,595. Again, that's item M1380, a battle-damaged NIPS percussion conversion musket for the collector-friendly price of just $1,595.